everyone, I am Dave the Prayer Guy. I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I greatly appreciate it. Hey, I do these videos because I want to encourage you, my viewers, my subscribers to the channel, to pray more missionally. So this is your first time here and you like this video, uh, please check out my other videos because I'm all about encouraging you to pray more missionally. Um, share my videos. Let's let's get this word out there of using the Great Commission, the making of new disciples and helping current disciples to grow as a focus for our prayers. Um, because that's what I'm about. That's what I do. I love fueling God's mission with prayer. And one of the places where God's mission is happening is in, is in Bible studies for adults. They're in small groups. They are in adult Sunday school. Um, you name it. Whenever believers are gathering together in a, in a smaller group, um, God's mission is happening. And it might just be the growing of current disciples. And that is okay. Um, that is a good place to stop. So I want to encourage you to pray missionally for adult small groups or Bible studies, adult Sunday school, whatever your church calls them. Maybe your church has all of the above. And, and so let's be praying for those. And, you know, let's face it, discipleship is supposed to happen with others. And so, as I said earlier, um, small groups are a great place for that to happen. It's a great place for that to happen. If you, So if you're not part of a small group, you're not part of a Bible studies, I wanted to encourage you to join one or maybe start one. And so that takes prayer, you know, to find the right one, to find the one that God is calling you into. And so pray about that. Uh, if you're already part of one, you know, pray that God will use it to help you grow. Pray for the other members of the group. Um, maybe there are people that you can invite to be part of the group. Pray for the leader, um, that they would facilitate well, that they would study well, that they would be godly examples of living out the Christian faith. And if you are the leader or you're praying about becoming a leader, you know, pray for that stuff for yourself, that you would continue to grow, you continue to be bold, you would continue to be a godly example to those in your group. Um, yeah, because they're going to need encouragement to grow deep in the word. Um, we all need that. We all need to grow deep in God's word to, to know what his voice sounds like, because God in his word says the sheep knows his voice. We need to learn to know how to hear it. Um, there is another part of the mission. Uh, I've been focusing on the discipleship of current current believers, current disciples, but there's also new disciples. And a small group can have a role in that. It can be a place where not yet Christians can come, hear the gospel, see see the gospel being lived out in front of them and make that decision. And it could be a gateway into coming to Sunday morning, you know, where they could, you know, again, continue to hear the gospel, continue to be molded by Christ. Um, yeah. I mean, when I, <laughs> before I became a Christian, I remember being in the small group or studying the, the gospel of John and those students, it was, you know, when I was a student at the University of Maine, um, those college students lived out their faith in front of me. And it became something that I wanted simply by them loving me, by being genuine. Um, I wanted what they wanted and, and it helped me to become a Christian, you know, so it was something God is doing. Maybe there's a project that the group can do together to kind of show the love of Christ to others to go into the community and do that. And, and that's going to take prayer. That's going to take listening to other and and so invite, pray about doing stuff together as a group to show the love of Christ. And, you know, the ultimate goal, I believe, is that when the group gets to the point where it's not small anymore, maybe it will split. It will split into other small groups. Uh, ultimately, that is my prayer for small groups, that more small groups will happen. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pray, and then I'm going to close out the video. Jesus, thank you so much for small groups. 
um, Bible studies for adults, adult Sunday school. Lord, I pray so much that they would be the catalyst that would help people to grow closer to you and help people to make this decision to be your disciple, Lord, to be on mission with you. Lord, I pray that small groups would have this mission mindset that, yes, current disciples need to grow. And that happens in relationship. That happens with others. But also people becoming disciples. That happens with others as well. So I pray that small groups always have this mission of mindset. That they would grow to the point where they have to split into two smaller groups. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel, and as always, God bless, and may the Lord be with you.